Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're out today just looking to address uh, street level nuisance type crimes that neighbors call to complain about. Right now we've got some narcotics activity going on at the uh, intersection of Four and Couture. Right now we're watching a few people who use crack cocaine so we're going to sit up here for a bit and see what we see. Out of the mouth, out of the mouth, bingo. Dude, there, there's our kid with the, trying the to mouth, score right the there. <laughs> she, just, she just took it out of her mouth. Yep. Just took it out of her mouth. She handed it to there the guy on right the bike. There. And he just okay. handed her money. the money. She got the money? Let's go. Spit it out. We just uh, really sick. She's gonna have to go to the spit yard. it out. We're gonna go take you to the hospital anyway. Spit it out. I can see it. Spit it. Chew, she's chewing it out. I know. She's chewing spit it, it out. Spit it. Yes, you are. I can see spit it. Spit it. Yes, you are. Spit, spit it out. Spit with your. Make the spit. Twenty forty-four. Spit, spit it out now. Spit it out. A hey, drugs call. I don't have that spit it. We can see it in there. Open your spit mouth. it. We're gonna take you to the ER and get your stomach pumped. So spit it. Spit, spit it, it out it's now. Better than that. Spit it. It's better than getting your stomach pumped. Spit it out. We're gonna get your stomach pumped anyway. Spit it. Spit it out. Thank you. No way. Spit the rest out. You're gonna. I see your contacts. I saw your contacts coming out. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Here, here, spit here, here, here. the rest out. Spit it out. Spit it out. We're gonna take you to the spit hospital. Spit it out! Just spit it out. We already got what you spit out of your mouth. A couple more rocks isn't spit gonna hurt it. Spit it out. Right? Just do it. A few more rocks is not do gonna it. hurt it. Spit it out now. Here. You're already gonna you're already under arrest. So just spit it out. Here. It doesn't Here. matter. Hey. We don't want you to hey. swallow it. Okay. Stand up. You guys I'm finna get up. Is my other one in my eye? No, I got them both right there. Well, can I put them in real quick? They're they're both um, I can't put them in. They have dirt. Here, here, hang, here. Hold up. They have hold dirt. Up. They have dirt all He's over them. You don't want to put it in your eye. But I need them in my contact solution because I can't Where's see. Where's your contact solution at? Hey, at my house. Oh, that's my eyes now. Was that worth it? Was that worth it? No. no. Spread your feet. Nice and wide. Okay. You got an evidence bag? With your tongue. Lift your tongue. I only had that one. Lift your tongue. I only had that. Lift your tongue. We just want you. I only had that one. We just don't want you to get sick. I only had that one. Did you swallow any more? No, I only had. Is this all you had? I was trying to swallow that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you don't want to die, right? It's my first time ever. Even. I'm not sorry. You know you have the right to remain silent, right? Yes. Anything you say can, and we'll get you a court of law. So gonna go. You understand your rights, though? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take all your stuff, put it in a bag. I'm gonna make sure you get it all back. Where am I going? Except the rocks. You're gonna come back to the precinct. We're gonna talk about that. We have options here. Yeah, how much money you have on you? Yeah. How much money do you have on you today? That right there. This over here. How much is money total? Like, like 65 bucks. 65 dollars? 65, 62 bucks. And I haven't hit no lick that I ain't gonna lie to you. I just got off the max. I don't have nothing else. Well, if your stuff is right down there. No, I don't, I don't got nothing else. What's your first name? Dietra. 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 Dietra, do me a favor. Can Come you, over here and have a Are you up. feeling okay? Yeah. We didn't no, hurt no, you, did no, we? No, no, no. You're okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. You don't need medical no, attention I'm or anything? Fine, I'm fine. All right. Just, just All right. All right. All right. So it's just one bag then? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's all. I haven't been hitting no licks yet. All right. No. How, how, how long have you been doing this? 
what, for the past two, three days. Two, okay, what do, you need money, what do you need the money for? I just broke up with my dude and don't have no place to stay. You got a baby? No. No? No kids. Just trying to, trying to make ends meet? Right now until I find me another job. But I apologize. I mean, you guys already have me. Well, me, though. You know, I'm sorry. We had to jump on you pretty I'm quick because, you know, we don't want you swallowing this. You guys, I didn't know if you guys were some base heads or what. I ain't even gonna lie. I was ready to turn around and just get the swing, and I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's cool. And I'm glad I didn't swing, you know. You staying somewhere? Uh, I don't got no place to go right now. So you don't, you're on the street? I mean, I do. I mean, till I live with my mom, but I'm 33, you know what I'm saying? Okay. For the past year and a half, I was staying with this dude up until two days ago. So you've been staying with this guy until two days ago, but you could stay with your mom if you yeah. want to. I'm you get going, back on your feet. I'm going to my mom when you guys let me go home. I'm going to go home and go lay down. I'm going to sit my ass at my mom's house. Okay, but you got some kind of a job. You yeah. got a place you could stay. I don't think it doesn't sound like your situation is that desperate. Desperate enough to oh, be down here walking around in Old Town. Uh, selling crack cocaine. I can barely look at you. My eyes are right. Is this it right here? Yeah. Stand up. So, we're going to take, take you down to Central Precinct and we'll talk a little bit further, okay? Uh -huh. Am I going to be able to go home? Put your feet in there. We'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah, no. okay. Sit tight for a second. You want to go fetch our equipment? Back. Oh, okay. Uh, Central? Right. We'll meet you there. Yeah, all that just for a couple rocks you cracked. A over. couple rocks. She just spit it out the beginning. It would have been a lot simpler. Everybody likes a drug arrest, and uh, you know I'm the same way. I love to go out and find drugs, you know, get the dope off the street or anything else like that. Um, it's always there's there's the thing of it is though you have to always keep an open mind, and you can't narrow your focus so much that you forget about everything else going on around you. You can be so focused on looking at a car because you think there's going to be dope in it that you'll drive right past a business being broken into. Four way to sell. Ten fifty. Ten three thirty one. This vehicle in front of us here has no tag lights, and the tag's not securely attached. We're going to go ahead and make a traffic stop here on this one. Ma'am, do you have your driver's license with you? No, I don't. You don't have a driver's license with you? Do you have a driver's license? Yes. You sure it's not suspended? No, it shouldn't be. Well, it shouldn't be or it isn't? No, I, I know it shouldn't be. No, I went to jail for driving on suspended license. Right. And they reinstated it. Mm -hmm. I'm on probation right now for okay. driving on suspended. All right. And um, I paid all my fines, and I'm waiting to go to get, um, I was on, they said, uh, four months probation, early termination mm -hmm. after your fines are paid. All right, miss, can you go ahead and walk on back here with me, please? Where do you live? I'm staying at Suburban Lodge right now because of you know, personal reasons. Problems okay. at home and... Sick and tired of getting my ass beat for no reason and him running on everybody he knows. So. Okay. What do you know about the stuff in the truck? I don't. I mean, I go to work all day and I... Here, my question is this. Two days ago, we had a burglar at one of our local businesses, Safety Boot Supply Company. And in the back of this truck, there's a bunch of property from the Safety Boot Supply Company. Okay. You didn't know anything about that? I did it. I'm sorry? I did it. Who did it? Do you know that for a fact? Mm -hmm. How do you know? Because he was at a house the other night where I was at and sold some boots. Oh, did he really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're willing to cooperate and give us everything you know about that? Yeah. Sure? All right, All right listen. listen. This is serious stuff. Okay? We didn't stop you tonight by accident. I'm sorry. We didn't stop you tonight by accident. Right. Okay? You probably have a pretty good idea why we stopped you. A few, weeks, a few nights ago, one of our businesses here got broken into. Yes, sir. And you happen to have some of the merchandise from that business in your car. No merchandise. Mine. It, it's everything that I've got receipts for everything that I own. I own my own business for eight years. Well, look, you've got stuff in your car that was stolen. Everything is mine in that car. Mike. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. Do you have any burglary tools in this vehicle? No, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. What about those uh, bolt cutters under your seat right there? Mm, I, I've got, I'm doing concrete work. I just did. And you cut I've concrete got, with bolt cutters? No, I do uh, rebar. I just did a, a pothole. For, I've worked for the uh, Homeowners Association yeah. last night. Neither one of us are stupid. If you did something because you were with somebody else, that's one thing. You know, you can tell us about it and we can help you with it. 
if you're gonna keep telling lies, we're just it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna get worse for you. Now you can sit here and give me your cockamamie story, all right, or you can be honest with us and write us a statement about it, all right, and we can go that route. You know, based from what you're telling me, you can be the witness or you can be the suspect. You understand? Yeah. I, I, so tell me what happened. I, I, I don't know what is real. I don't know. Okay, whatever his name is. Paula. Fred, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. What we have is this guy, uh, well, he received information from the nervous passengers that this guy was involved in a burglary um, that occurred two days ago. Uh, the burglary was actually reported to the sheriff's office, to the safety and boot center here in town in the city of Stewart. Some of the items stolen were work belts, tactical work belts, and that's exactly what we have here. It's even got their uh, name on the box. And uh, we asked him information about him, and he's wrong. The prices are wrong that he gave us. So we'll keep working it. Who was boy your boyfriend bought a set of boots a little while ago? No, hang on a minute. Yeah. Who did you buy them from? From him. Uh, Mike. So you want to tell me about that? Uh, I... Listen. You calling her a liar? I... Listen, Mike, the one thing about Martin County Police is you got to be honest with them. I've done my time and my share of work with them, but they're not after you. They want the person that was with you. It's not calling you a snitch. It's just, you know what, you need, it's a wake-up call. You need to get out of the situation. You know, look at Charlie went to prison for two years, and he's cleaning up his act, you know. It's not easy. I know that, and it took a long time for me to clean up my act. But if you're honest with them and say, look, yeah, I up, here's the deal, you know. We're looking to see if there's any names or initials. A lot of times, guys in construction will put their initials on their equipment. And uh, being as he's got other stolen stuff in his truck, there's a good chance this stuff might be stolen also. I know that that stuff in that car is from that burglar two days ago. I have no idea about that. You know? I just say arresting his lying. That's yep. God's honest truth. It's not that that's, that's the honest truth. Well, I told you if you're going to be honest with me that we'd work with you and, you know, you go about your merry life, but you don't want to play that game, so we'll just put you in jail. I, I picked him up and he had some stuff. I mean, I did, he didn't say where it came from. I don't know. You know I don't know this area. Well, turn around, put your hand turn. on your back. Turn around. All right, Mike, we gave you the opportunity. We gave you more than enough of opportunity. I was honest. You didn't want to cooperate. You got it. Now we're going to go ahead and go with what we got. He has tools that are typical, that are, you know, this stuff, if it was in a toolbox, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But having this under your seat, this next to your seat, and this in your pocket, you know, if I was with the FBI, I think it's a clue that he's probably out doing things he shouldn't be doing. Well, listen, it's like the other deputy was telling me. Say you got an IQ of 142, but yet you're out here stealing from people. I've never stolen anything in my life. Well, you're out here committing crimes that you shouldn't be committing. I didn't commit any crimes. Okay. Let me ask you this. Stand up. I've never committed a crime in my life. You're on probation? Yeah. How'd you get on probation? Uh, you volunteer for it? Volunteer. You volunteered to do 12 years probation? Yes, sir. For burglary? Yep. Okay. And I'm supposed to believe that? Well, maybe you'll go ahead and voluntarily... Uh, Admit that you stole this stuff and voluntarily go to jail so the street will be a little bit safer. Fly back in there. Yes. My great grandfather was one of the original Texas Rangers. My dad was a deputy sheriff in Dallas before he went in the military. And um, it's just pretty much in my blood. I got cousins on departments in, uh, in Dallas and Fort Worth. So it's just something I've been wanting to do my whole life. Hollywood We're en route to a uh, shooting call. The subject called in saying they were shot in the hand. Okay, copy. Is there any that can be in route to the Roadrunner at Hollywood Lake? It's a 24 year old male shot in the hand. We're arriving with the victim now. He's, uh, he's saying that he was up at a bar at Lake Mead and. Uh, Lake Mead and Hollywood, and I uh, got into a little argument with some guys. Uh, and as they pulled a gun on him, and he went to grab the gun, and they shot him in the hand. Let me see your hand, man. Let me see your hand. Be careful, you're bleeding. 
I don't know if it exited right there. It was so close you can see the muzzle blast. Yes, Tell me what yeah, happened. Yeah, We're on the side. Hey, We're at Hollywood so Lake Me at the Albertsons. You got the Albertsons. Went on the side where there's a tattoo shop. Okay. I was out there. Three Latino Mexicans got out and said, hey, uh, do you have a problem? I said, no, 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 I don't have no problem. As I was backing up, they were coming towards me with a gun in my face. So I had no chance but to grab that gun and put it to the side or else I, I, I was dead. They didn't say, give me your money. They weren't trying to rob nope. you or anything. It was truthfully, I think it was game related. Are you in a gang? Heck no. Uh, okay, no they're in a gang. Heck no. George related. Never been in a gang. Well, how, what would lead you to believe they were in a gang? Uh, just the colors that they were wearing, bandanas and uh, their uh, gangster shoes. And they were wearing gangster shoes? Yeah. Were they yelling out gang names or anything Not like that? Not at all. No? Not at all. Nothing like that? Not at all. Okay, so you just think it was gang related because of what they were wearing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Look how close the muzzle blast. If it wouldn't have been for me pushing it to the left, it would have been my head. You want to go to the hospital by ambulance or take yourself or I'll what? I'll take myself. All right. You want us to clean it up or anything? Did you please? Sure. We'll get a bandage on it so it yeah. doesn't mess up. Right, so you didn't see him. You said you shoot himself, but he was far away. How, he, how far he, away he, was he? He was like from like maybe here to the, to the house. Okay. Like like you, if you go there, there's you a parking saw the, lot. Did you see the? Uh, no. No. I, I I I didn't I didn't see like the actual shooting. Did you see the light come out of the gun or anything? No. No. Okay. No, 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 All right. Bad. Okay. That's that's honest and true. I don't know. They, they were like, you make up a story because he was going to get his, his license taken away for guns and this night. You know, he's a gun freak. And he was all tripping out on suicide. That's okay. that's the honest truth. Okay. You know. Well, that's what we're looking for. I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? I want you to be completely honest with me. You're a victim of a crime. Do you understand that? No, I don't. You don't understand that you're a victim? Because someone well, tried to pull yeah, a gun I'm on a you and shot you. Crime, right? You're a victim, okay? And we want to do everything in our power to help you. Okay, and I appreciate that. Okay. What I need from you, though, is complete honesty. I told you everything I know, sir. Okay. Have you ever tried to commit suicide? One time. Do you own a gun at all? Five. What kind of gun do you own? Just the shotgun, that's it? You don't have a handgun? Yeah, I also have a handgun. Okay, what kind of handgun do you have? A uh, 22. A little 22? Okay. Here's the deal, man. You're not in trouble. Okay? I understand. I just want you to know that you're not going to jail for anything. You understand? Do you understand? Okay, but what I'm concerned about is you calling in and saying that someone tried to shoot you and you couldn't even describe to us what they look like. And hold on, let me talk for a second, okay? And I had a witness over here that says that he saw you out front with your brother, okay? And you had a gun in your hand. A gun? Is that not true? Who's the witness? How's it coming? And you're his uh, stepbrother? Yeah. Can you tell me real quick what happened? We were at the bar. Which bar? Nelson Owens. Okay. And we're just shooting some pool. We just got there. It hadn't been too long. And then um, he got on the phone with my dad. He went outside. So we're out there, and he's depressed, yelling and screaming on the phone. And, next and you're in the back of the bar? No, I'm in the parking lot. I followed okay. him out a few minutes later. Okay. I didn't want to just jump on his conversation. Right. So a few minutes later, you know, it's his shot. I was, like, trying to get him to come back in. And um, he's on the phone just all upset. And next thing I know, you know, I was standing there, and the gun went off. And... Where did he have the gun? I, I supposedly in, on him somewhere. I don't know. Oh, exactly. he never told you that earlier. No. So the gun went off, and I just jumped, and then I went over there to see what happened, and then you know he's bleeding. I don't know exactly where yet. I just jumped in the car, jumped in the car, get the cell, get on the cell phone, and try and get somebody here. Then he held his car, hand up in the car, and I had a, a hole in his hand. Right. And then we came here, and then the rest is you guys know the rest is. I just want to explain something to you, okay? We get the call from you. Okay, right. so we're sending units here. And now you guys are fabricating a story about some Hispanic gangbangers. Hold on, I'm just explaining. You're not in trouble. Okay. You're not in trouble, man. I'm just explaining it to you, okay? Just so you know for the future, in case right. you have any problems with your brother, okay. how important it is to be honest with us right away, okay? Because when we get a, when we get a shots fired call or someone's hit, even if it's in the hand, 
we're rolling lights and sirens, okay? Everyone's dropping what they're doing, and they're coming here because this is priority to help someone, right? Okay. So not only did we have people coming here, but we had people going up way out of the way to Lake Mead in Hollywood, okay? You know what happens when we roll lights and sirens behind you, right? And you pull over to the side. Well, some people don't pay attention, okay? When people don't pay attention, people get in accidents. We could have had officers hurt. I know. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. For people and, that didn't and, do anything wrong. Being believe me, I completely understand that you're that you were scared and nervous for your brother. I do. No, no, definitely. Okay. Now we're gonna get your brother some help. Okay. Okay, because he needs some help. Yeah, so he's gonna go to the hospital, not only for his hand, so he can talk to some people. We're yeah. gonna get him help. Okay. That sounds good. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay. Sorry about all that. That's okay, man. It's okay. One thirty two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty two in Bush. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My husband's a Portland police officer. We've been married for coming up on a year now. And uh, we met through this job. Um, we don't have kids yet. Uh, if we do, it's probably a long way off. We're uh, both enjoying where we are right now in our career and in life and um, just having a good time and having fun. Revised age, about 20 years old, 5 foot 6, blue button up shirt and blue jeans. We're en route to a accident. Sounds like one or two cars involved. The driver of one took off running. Uh, several officers have seen him running, it sounds like, but he's still beating through the block, so we're going to see if we can cut him off up here. 955, it looks like it's non injury as far as the other party involved. There's going to be a hit and run uh, at this time. Do you want a perimeter? Yeah, let's uh, get a perimeter going. Um, we have 944, got a better location of where this guy went. Maybe you can set it up, see if there's a dog available. Okay. Thank you. Two counts of hit and run to property. Did you hear what we have? Yeah, hit and run. Yeah, two counts of hit and run property. property um, Tim talked to witnesses that last saw him running this way through the field. Okay. So we've got the perimeter locked down. Sounds great. I didn't see anything pushed down over there. Did you? It kind of ended just back over here. I mean, you can see where it's tramped down a little bit, but. How about just waiting over here and let me try to get a start. Once I start going. Maybe... Well, he found his $5. 975, uh, the dog was real hot. He's kind of slowed down, but we did just find some money that was probably dropped by the suspect. What about this uh, shed thing right here? Okay, we're there now. We're there now. That a boy. What you got there? Okay, he's here. Okay. Cut that. Hang on a sec. See your hands. See your hands. You're going to get bit. Come out. You're going to get bit by a police dog. Let's see your hands. Let's see your hands. Come on. Come out. You're going to get bit. Aparte. Stand up. No, same way. Okay. He's gonna bite anyone who gets. No, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, stop, 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 stop. 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 I'll talk, I'll talk. I'll talk. Okay, hold on, let's get the dog out. Got him. I got him. Watch the stuff, watch the stuff. Get on the ground, get on the ground. I love you. He got cuffs? Yep. Right here, right here. Ready? Yep. Here, I got it, I got it. Yep. Nice 
<laughs> Got any weapons or needles, anything else that's going to poke me or stick me? Put your knees up to your chest, sit up on your butt for me. There you go, stay. Do we have a car close? Okay. Stand up for me. Stand up, bend your knees. Stop, stop, hold still. What's your problem? What's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. Dirty. You tweaking? No, I'm dirty. Then why can't you hold still? Because I'm dirty. I'm trying to dust my... I'm going to snag someone's car. Is this your car, Aaron? Yeah, it's my car. Let's see. Hi, can you explain to us what happened? All I know is he come up behind me and I kind of looked up in the mirror and I don't know if he hit anything else behind me, but he hit the back of my car, hit the fence oh, out yeah. there on the golf course. Okay. And then he come up driving up beside me. I was trying to pull off the road so that I can get out of the way of traffic. And he come right up beside me and I didn't, you know, I was like, okay, I just want to stop. And he come flying by me and whipped a U-turn right there and nailed the, the, post? the post and the bricks and stuff. Uh -huh. He got out, kind of motioned me like this to come over. And by the time I got over here, he was gone. Okay, he just disappeared. So I got running? Yeah. Okay. Is this the only place there's damage? Yeah, is the right back? Yeah, here in the back. Okay. I did pull the bumper out a little bit because it was rubbing it on my tires. in there? Okay. Yeah. At least it's going to be drivable. It's fixable. At least no one's hurt. That's an important thing. It was a little bit of a track, but we've got him and he'll be held accountable. Yeah, All right, Brian. You want to tell me about what happened out here today? Um, I hit somebody and I got the right to And you what? You hit my, somebody? My jeans got dirty. Look at that. I know. All right. Oh, well, do you understand what you're being arrested for? For running through a field. For running through a field? I don't know. Hit and run? Okay. Why'd you run? <sighs> do you even know? Is it because you're suspended? Brian? Yo. Do you understand you could have killed somebody out here today? Could have. Could have. That's all you have to say about it? All right. Sounds like you've got a couple warrants and... Um, and he's suspended? Suspended, and he's going to be charged with three counts of hit and run to property, and he'll be going down to county. Yeah. Very good. Good work. You know, working a graveyard at South Central on the Strip is it's really a lot of fun. You can move around a lot easier after uh, after a few hours, about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. A lot easier to get where you're going, and definitely in Vegas, you, you never see the same thing twice. It might be the same call, but it's never the same thing. Uh, right now, we're just trying to catch up to a guy on a bike. So far, he crossed six lanes of traffic. And he stopped finally. Where are you going? Come here. Why are you pedaling across six lanes of traffic when you see me? Here, put your hands behind your back real quick. Pop together. You have been arrested? Yes, sir. Never in your whole life? In my whole life. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just a cab driver. Oh! Whoa. Get out of the way! One DP-17. Go 410 driver, just 401 to Karen and Maryland. He's now eastbound Karen, probably 100 miles an hour. Copy. Zip 10, one DP-17. See, he had to go in here. Monitoring. Copy. I'm just going to ATL for a bit. That's it. Could be it. It has fresh water on it.
Well, no. Well, this is the car or the truck we saw. It actually doesn't have much front end damage at all. No one's around here, so. Looks like a bunch of clothes in there. We'll run the plate, see if it comes back as, uh, as stolen. It would have been nice to find a minute. Control 1 DP 17. I think we found it. We're gonna quick do an ATL around this parking lot and attempt to locate whoever was driving it. We have a couple more units coming from uh, southeast. We have some other units coming from south central. What do you drive? Where are you coming from? Because I have a feeling that you're who I'm looking for, so the truth shall set you free. Nothing? I wasn't driving that. Oh, so you are involved. No, I'm not involved. Well, apparently you have to know something, otherwise you wouldn't have said I'm not driving that. Not Here, put your hands behind your back. What's going on? Please, I'm not driving it. Well, then you're going to talk to me really quick, and we're going to figure out what's going on. Okay? Stand right there. What's going on? Here, look at me. Look at me. I am looking at you. Okay. I was at a bar. I was drinking, but okay. I wasn't driving that car. Who yet. was driving it? She's down the street. She's down the street? Yeah. What, she ran away? Yeah, she did. Where would she be down the street? Why don't you look down the street and you can find out. Raph, apparently the other female just ran this way. Another girl. I don't need this. I'm trying to be a cop. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You weren't driving. You're not in trouble, but still. It's your truck, correct? It is registered. Okay, under yeah, it's yes. your truck, okay. Unfortunately. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, here's the deal. You um, you took out a, a fire hydrant. No, and... I didn't. Okay, 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 driving. okay. The driver took, the other girl, Cynthia, Cynthia, right? Cynthia took out a fire hydrant, uh, killed a palm tree, and hit a rock, okay? That's all. Thank that's God. all. Thank God. Okay, just stay there for a second, okay, hon? Is this her? Yeah. Are you okay? What do you mean what happened? Here, sit in there. Don't get out. No, no, no. We got in an argument, but okay. I left the car. Maria was driving. Start at the beginning. <sighs> we were coming home from the club. Okay. Me, Maria, and Misty. And Misty. Okay. okay. Maria was driving. Okay. All right. Uh, about... Where's Maria at? I have no idea. She took off. Okay. You guys related or dating or whatever? Or... Yeah, we... I mean, I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we were together for like Okay. Years, That's yeah. cool. Okay, so you guys were at a club and then you just got in an argument. Yeah. Just a little domestic yes, kind of thing. Yes, no one hit anyone? No, no one no, touched? No, 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 sir. Okay. No, so just hang tight. She says. There were only the two of them. They were in a fight, in a domestic. They were drinking. She was driving. She crashed. Cynthia is telling me there was three of them. Some mysterious third girl was driving, and she's disappeared. So Nobody the, saw them at physical control of the car. Unfortunately, right? no. So the truck's parked followed, out back. You followed them here. You didn't see anybody get out of the vehicle or anything? Mm, nope. Okay. And she won't turn on her, and she admits it. the registered owner of the car? She is. Okay, where was Maria at? Maria doesn't exist. So it was just you two in the car? Yes, it was. Okay. So you're saying that... I will write a voluntary statement on that. That Cynthia was riding? Yes, I will, because this affects my career. I do. I will write a So you're going to write a statement, right? Yes, I will. All right, get around the suspect okay. voluntary. I will write a voluntary statement on that. This is my life. This is my career. Sit down. Sit down. This is my career. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> this is my life. Okay. Yes. I already know you both were in the vehicle yes, today. Sir. Okay. Yes. I need to know who's driving. If nobody wants to tell me what's going on, you're both taking a ride for this. There's another person in the car, which she's not admitting to, but there is. But there was a third yeah, person. Yeah, I don't care what car. she says. She's covering up for that. Okay. But that's okay. That's who all right. Was, who was driving? Was this other person driving? Yes, Maria. She don't want to believe me. She don't want to. She so don't want Maria to. Maria. Yes, sir. Was the driver? Yes, sir. But I will admit to it. Just because she's covering up, that's okay. I don't want her getting in trouble. She does have a future, hopefully, and I don't want to f that up. So I will admit to anything I have to, just to let her go. Where were you sitting in the vehicle? I guess I'm the driver. I can't really say if that's what she's saying, but that's what I'm. I'm asking you if you no, will. No, sir. I, I'm telling you. Just I'm gonna admit to being the driver. Okay. All right. Put your feet back in. Yes, sir. Their truck's getting towed. The one that admitted to driving is going to get about nine tickets. The other one's going to get a few as well. So drinking and driving and fighting, not a good combination. Tallahassee is a great place. I've pretty much been here since I was little. I've grew up here. Great to raise a family here. Great schools. 
my daughter will be going to to college here next year. Everybody around here, the citizens and everything, are very nice and great people. Great place to live. Right now, we got a vehicle in front of us that is not maintaining a lane. He's going back and forth, but he didn't come to a complete stop back at the stoplight. We're done. Kentucky traffic stop on it. South and Road Street. We're going to start going to turn into the Wendy's here. How are you doing? What's up, sir? All right. What's going on tonight? Something wrong? Yeah, you got your license registration insurance, sir? I'm stopping you for a couple reasons. First, you not maintaining a lane. You're going back and forth in front of me. Is there a reason why you continue to go back and forth, or are you trying to? Well, I was calling a friend of mine. I don't know where he lives. Yes, sir. He lives on Mayhan, I found out, so I need to turn right to get over to Mayhan instead of okay. going straight. And I was going to switch lanes there in the, at, Bag, at Orange, but yes, I saw you behind me. And no, I was just, just driving. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm saying switching lanes in the intersection is illegal, so I didn't do it while okay. you were right behind me. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you have any weapons or anything in the car? Any guns, bombs, I grenades? I have a knife and a box cutter. Uh-huh. Can I take a look in your car? I'm sorry, Kevin. You're not holding it. I don't... I mean, you sure can. I mean, but there's a lot back there. Well, I, I'm asked, that's why I'm asking you. You don't mind if I take a look in the car? Well, Ta I have no problem with it, sure. Okay. Why don't you come, come on out? I'll see. 335. So what kind of... Just... Whoo! You're okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, so you don't mind if I take a look? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Anything? Cell phone. Oh, I'm working on it. I, I, carry That's lot, 10 for, um, I carry a lot of things. Checking on. his pocket, stand by. Okay. Like. Okay. Um, and dollar bill and lighter change and a pen. Okay. That's just change right there. Okay. Can, uh, I put, can I put the rest of the stuff in my pocket? Yeah. Why don't you do me a favor? Just, just stand right here. So, so uh, Mr. Well, you can stand right here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go up here and take a look in the car. Like you said, you gave me my permission, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back for you. I'll go get that ladder right there for you, okay? Did you see one? Yes, oh, I did. Okay. You just stand right there for me. Go right there in front of my car. Right here, right here. I just just right here so I can see you, okay? We're looking for, checking all the small boxes and everything, see if there's any drugs in here. And in the matchbox, there's a little bit of marijuana. Just a little bit. Uh, see if there's anything else. In here, because they usually can hide anything everywhere, especially something small. Just doing the search itself in the back of the console okay. and the matchbox, there's a little bit of uh, marijuana found. Okay. We'll go and ahead. Um, Let's go ahead plus and take some that. other residue there in the car. Okay. We'll go ahead and take that and take him and, and go back to the office. Okay. Can you do me a favor, sir? Turn around. Yeah. Right now, being arrested for possession of marijuana. Uh, can you explain why? I, that's why I just said you're being arrested for marijuana. What can you show me? Just give me a minute here. Sure. This is what you're being arrested right here. What's the charge for um, possession of that amount? For that amount right now? Yeah. That's the misdemeanor charge right now. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's something you have to actually go to jail for if it's a misdemeanor? <laughs> yeah, sure. Really? You're Okay. We'll put this back in your pocket right here in the front, okay? Okay. We'll wait for a car. We'll put you in the back of the car and have a seat. Mm -hmm. Okay? Why don't you do me a favor? Go ahead, go ahead and sit right here on the bumper for me, please. Okay. Okay. I went ahead and got Parkway and route. It's like computer stuff here so far. Hey, Grady. Right here. There it goes. All in the computer box here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's it. That's what we're looking for right there. Uh, looks like about, looks like a little cocaine right there. I think there should be some, probably some X pills in here. Do you understand what's going on tonight? Yep. You have been arrested for the possession of marijuana right, and right. then with the other drugs right. that's in the vehicle itself. Do you understand that? Uh, I comprehend that matter. Okay. Do you know that, do you know that all that stuff was in the back of your car? The last time I told a law officer the truth, he didn't treat me so well. Some law enforcement officers are good people, some are bad. I just don't know. You know, you said everything was cool and... Everything was cool. But, well, all I'm just irritated about is I feel a little bit deceived in the fact that you said everything's cool. How did I deceive you? I didn't. I, I told you everything. I didn't, and I was just giving you warning for, the, for these two violations there. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I understand okay, that. Okay, that's... Then, the... But then you dragged it on. No. You uh, made it seem as though if I said no, then it would happen anyway. No, I said that was your option. No, you didn't say it was an option. Yes. Right now, we have marijuana itself, a little brick. You got powder cocaine. And in the pill box here, it looks like several little green pills of ecstasy in here. Definitely looks like he was in a process of selling. Right now, what we're going to do is hand this over to detective, and they're going to take the investigation from this point on. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Our street team is kind of small considering you know, all the other squads and units. There's only five of us. You know, we work really well together. You know, a lot of um, camaraderie. Everybody gets along. Everybody covers each other back. So it's nice having people you know that are going to cover you when uh, you're looking one way and anybody can come up behind you another time. It's a good unit to work with, good group of guys to have at your back. Subject had short crop hair, again, black t-shirt and red short. We got an armed robbery. It took place about five minutes ago. One of our deputies, a couple minutes away from the scene, saw our suspect, and uh, he turned around and he bolted in some woods. So we got a K-9 Eagle on the way. We're going to hurry up and get there and uh, see if we can track this guy down. Hey, Barry, what's the inside quill? He's walking down the street, he's walking westbound, he's got a black t-shirt on, full of sweat, so I shine a light on him. As I pass him, circle around, he jetted right into the woods, so kind of obvious it was him. All right, uh, Eagle just got on scene. We're uh, waiting on K-9 to show up, and uh, we're going to try and track this guy into the woods where he ran off over here. One of our units saw him last. Looks like K-9's on scene now. Hey, our guy's got it. supposed to have a gun, right? Show your hands! 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 Oh, I didn't rough from you, bro. I'll stand you up. Okay. Put one leg underneath you and bend your knee. There you go. Other leg, go. We got EMS coming for him out front. Give me a light over here, make sure there's no weapon, weapon shine down in here. I got no weapon, man. Oh, man. 
No gun? No, sir. I'll just come back in the morning. All right, let's go out. Come on. Yeah, I'll come back in the morning. Ooh. Stop right here. Stop. Look into that car. Stop moving. Look into that car. I'm looking in the car. Stand there for a minute. Yes, sir. Stop. Okay. Just relax for now. Yes, sir. What is I supposed to do? What, what's that? We're going to talk to you in a minute. Right now, I just need you to relax. All right? Stop turning around. Stand up. Positive? Beautiful Positive. thing. Positive. What I supposed to do? Stop. Right here. These guys right here can help you out. What I supposed to do? Over here. What I supposed to do? All right. I'll tell you what's happening. Just charged right now. Armed robbery. Okay. All right. And. You ran into the woods once you saw me. I put my land on I didn't, you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. When I when I right, I so was going to the house, man. So I you weren't sleeping in the woods. Tell yes, I sleep on the yard. No, you sleeping at the time. You see the car? I saw you run from it. Right? That's why. You, that's why we track you. Okay, you ran from the side, yeah, right? I didn't. I didn't have nothing to do with no arm robbery, sir. Right. What's your name? My name is. What? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Why am I being charged with arm robbery? Because you've been positively ID'd by the victim. I didn't right. have nothing to do with no harm. Yes, sir. Listen, we did. We have a, we have a witness Listen, or a victim. Listen, you can that take, that you can take, you can take. Hey, the basics are, the basics are, we had an armed robbery occurred. Yes. Not far from here. Right. The amount of time that took place, a deputy came by, deputy stats here saw you going down the sidewalk. He turns around. Right. You're gone. You ran up in the bushes. Right. Our victim comes over. Right. Looks at your face and says, that's him. A victim comes over. Who? The person who was robbed. The person you took. I didn't, the take, from from no, I didn't take nothing from nobody. You can check in the okay. woods. Yeah. We're going to have to do some more investigation yeah, on this. That's what we do. Okay? We do investigation. You know what I do. You know I do. I'm telling you right now, though, we have more than enough to take you to jail for armed robbery. How? Okay? I didn't have nothing. Yes, sir. Time frame. You're wearing what the victim told us you were wearing. They told us from the they told us from the start that they could ID you. They okay, see you and they say have, that's I him. I have nothing with to do with no armed robbery, sir. Shelby, yes, listen, sir. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit and talk about everything and find yes. out exactly what's going on. Right. All right. Yes, what I'm gonna ask you to do now is I'm gonna ask you to stay quiet, relax. All right. If any deputies ask you anything, listen to what they have to say and answer them. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. You taking the who's taking the report? No armed robbery. Right. No. What happened no. earlier tonight? We walked over the car, I got in that side, she got in the other. Next thing I know, some guy points a gun at her throat. I said, I thought he was kidding. And then he took her bag and then he points it, put the gun right in front of my nose. Just give wow. me a wallet. I says, and I go to get the, I said, I can't get it out. Mind if I step out of the car? No. And he says, give me your wallet. So he reached over and he took it out. And, he, and then he fled right through the alley. He reached in and took the wallet from yeah, you? Right out of my wallet. Cross me. And he said, took sir, anything? I couldn't get it out. He got it out. All right, sir. Well, thank you for uh, talking to us. Yeah. And oh, thank you thank for you. helping us. I'm glad you want to press charges. We get to take another criminal off oh, the street. Yeah. I want to press charges. Son of a... Yeah. Whatever. That was lousy. Having you know, a gun at my neck. I didn't like that. I was going to say to him, uh, what do you bother me for? <laughs> You're going to get into trouble. With that. I said, I better not say anything with that, that pistol right in my nose. Yeah, it's a tight spot, I guess. I I thought he was going to shoot me. I really did. And I, I've been shot at before in the Army. <laughs> did these guys, is this, this guy, will they check out his record to see how much, how, how many other times he's done what he's done? I'm oh, sure yeah, he must have a record. The one that just robbed you guys? He yeah. has an extensive past. He must have a record. He has uh, a little bit of everything on his yeah. record. I think he did a fantastic job. City of Las Vegas has been changing lately. We used to do landscape that went flat and outward, and now everything's going to the uh, high-rise communities. They're building condos up and down the strip that reach up into the sky, and that's new for, for those of us who've lived in Las Vegas for 20 years. We're going to be uh, arriving. A gentleman broke into somebody's house and called the owner of the home said he's waiting inside for her to arrive with a, uh, he's got a shotgun and he's waiting for her to come home. So we're gonna get here and make sure that we can stop some, somebody from getting shot. 
1 North 1221 arriving. Copy. Uh, here's advising the residence is single story with brown brick. Apartment is on the garage, white Cadillac in the back of the residence by the garage. It does have a hole with two yellow wraps in the residence yeah. doors, but they don't have something out. Okay, you get rid of these? You have to do the front door? No, we didn't. Yeah, we, we, we know you said it was okay going, but we don't, we don't want to start kicking doors in or anything. Yeah, he, he said he saw you guys coming up. He called me from his house. He has he broke in a window up by, there's an apartment above the garage. Okay. And he called me from the phone, which is also a line in the house. Right. And then when he saw you guys coming, he left. What? So um, he's at his house right now, but he broke in my window, I guess, and he broke my house phone. So does the house connect to the apartment at all? Not really. Okay, well. What kind of card is your boyfriend driving? Oh. <laughs> is that him? Hello? Hey. I just got home. Yeah. I had left to look. Well, I'm home. I don't know. I just drove fast. You know what? Why did you break into my house? Oh, damn. I'm on speaker. Where does he live at? Do you know his address? Yeah, I, I know where it is. Why don't you go ahead and show us the apartment real quick? light on upstairs. There's supposed to be a light on up there. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, I probably left that on before I left. Here, there's a gate key. Yeah, the one you gave me or not? No. Oh, I should back. Sorry. Okay. It's one of the gate keys. I just, I just think just he should be able him. to get in trouble for this. Thing. Yeah, he will. Don't worry about it. Just ignore him. <laughs> He broke into my house, calls me from my number. I get all these cops out here. Get the police down the hall. We have guns. All right, we cleared the residence over here, and there's, uh, he's not in there, but there's a warrant out for his arrest, and we figured out where his address is. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't knock on his door and see if he'll answer it. We'll put him under arrest. I not heard anything in the back. Hey, swing to the door. Hi. Is Will home? What did I do? Come here. Oh. Come here. Turn around and face the wall. Oh. Back. Have a good night. Oh. Hi. You have a warrant for your arrest. You have a warrant for my arrest? Yes, yep. sir. What am I being arrested well, well, for? You have a warrant. You have a warrant for your arrest. What yeah. did I do? Well, first of all... I was you, sleeping. Do you have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. What's you her do? Name? Her name is Rihanna. Yeah. And, and where does she live? Yeah, I'm sure you guys already know that. I'm yeah, and we were already there. Yeah, because so, so what, what, what happened the night? Here? Oh, man. You were in her house. Let's her, start with that. Her, her window was open. It I, doesn't matter. You know, I just I just went know, in and called her, and then well, she and then what? I and then I left. You know what? what, what now I've been worried about that right now. You have a three thousand dollar warrant for battery domestic violence. Battery and domestic violence. Nope. Yep. I didn't even. No. Do on top on top of that, okay. Oh you, you went over you went over to the house. Fuck. You called her from her house phone, told her that you're in waiting in her home with a shotgun, and then no, you decided. No, I did not. You, okay, so then why are you calling your girlfriend up in the first place? Telling that you're in her place and you got a shotgun. I didn't say I had a shotgun. I yeah, you did. A shotgun. You were in there. Guess but what? That's a crime. Yeah, why, why would you go in in the first place if you don't live there? I was just angry at her. Yeah, well, and destroying her property, that's crime too. And well, you don't talk know. about guns because when you start you start mentioning guns, police come and we bring bigger, badder, better guns. I, I know you do. She told me to meet at her house. I was there. I sat out there for her house about half an hour and then I saw her window. Was you know, we, you know what we call that? We call that stalking. Well, she told me to go to her house. No, she didn't. She was out with her friends having a wonderful evening by herself without you. Go ahead and have a seat real quick. Who's the people that live in your house? What are their names? Uh, like in... Nathan. Nathan? All right, I'm just going to knock on the door and ask for him. All right. Can I have a shirt, too? What's that? A shirt. 
A shirt? Yeah, we'll try and rustle one up for you. All right, cool. Yo, do you, do you even own a shotgun? Huh? Do you even own a shotgun? Yeah, but they're not in my house. Where are they at? They're at my dad's house in North Carolina. <laughs> so, did you tell her you had one today? Yeah, I did. You did just try and scare her or what? Yeah, pretty much. It was stupid. Good things is that you didn't know you had a warrant. Now you get to take care of that or argue your side in court. And then the other thing is, you know, nobody got hurt in this, okay? And you're not getting any other any other charges. So just in the end, so I'm just, getting, you, I'm just getting taken in for a warrant. For a warrant, that's it. But if you would have taken care of things with your girlfriend a little bit differently, then we wouldn't be here. We would never even knock on your door. All right. So that's pretty much the only lesson I, I hope you learned tonight. Got you. All right. Uh, the SCAD team is the street crime attack team. It's the Rialto gang team. Uh, also, we work closely with narcotics and investigations. We get uh, numerous, you know, applications from the guys throughout the police department, you know, wanting to get on the team because it's, it's probably the greatest assignment out there. Suspect in the car has a prior for 187. We're en route to go contact a subject that's uh, sitting in his vehicle selling uh, narcotics uh, in a residential area, and it looks like he's uh, has priors for murder. Monsieur Hans, what are you doing? You live here? Where do you live at? I live on Lana. Who's this guy? This is Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. How many people we got in the truck? Quite a few. Oh, is that right? Two. Just two? What's that, a weed pipe? Yes, sir. Are you smoking weed or what? Yes, sir, what? Anybody on probation parole? I'm on parole. For what? Involuntary manslaughter. Anything in the car I need to know about? Just, Just, a, little little Just a little bit of weed? Any other weed? No pipe. Nothing else? No. All right. Let's pull them out. Hey, come on back here. Set that down. Come on over here. Hey, keep Turn around. Where we can see them. Turn around. All right, your fingers right in here. There you go. Nice and tight. Nothing else, honey? No, sir. What's in here? Uh, I'm on parole, so we're yet to check. My lighter and my ignition kill switch. Where's the weed at? It's in my change pocket. Why you got it all wrapped up like that? So it fit in my pocket. You got a little bud? Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that so it don't blow away. What's this? It's half of a pen. This? Yeah, it's a light. Oh, it's a laser pointer. Laser pointer. Pen. You're supposed yeah. to have that? I don't know why I wouldn't be. Yeah, it no, you're not. It's a pen that's in my door handle. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay, come sit right here by this. Sit down. Come on back here. Hey. Go to him. Come on back here. Turn around. We'll start getting crazy. I'm not going crazy, sir. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Spread your feet. Let's go with the program. You on parole? No, sir. Probation? No, sir. You got anything on you? Let's right. turn and face your buddy right here so we can see him. Nothing on you? I may have some weed in my pocket. You got some speed? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. What do you got? Some you got weed. some weed? Yes, sir. Shears? Yes, sir. Go sit next to your, um, your buddy, huh? Yes, sir. Sit down. Kick your feet out and cross them. Not selling any dope, huh? No. Nothing in the car we need to know about? Guns, drugs, anything no. like that? No, no, Can you no. grab her uh, her stuff and run those three for me? So you don't mind if I check your uh, your truck? No. Being on parole, we get to search his car and go through it, make sure that uh, that he doesn't have anything else that's, uh, that's illegal. Uh, here's a scale. Basically shows that they are over here selling marijuana. He'll probably end up going back to prison for a year, a violation of his parole. And we got a little meth in there also on top of that. So we're going to see what else this guy is trying to throw. Got his little meth pipe. Basically is what he does is uh, they end up loading these pipes up with this crystal meth and smoking it up. What's this? I have no idea. You don't know what I this know is? I didn't find that around my, it, it, where I was in, you know. It's a speed pipe. Yeah, that, that is not mine. Is that your truck? Yes, sir. What's this? Huh? 
it's crystal like, meth. That's what it looks like. It's yeah, it is. Like, so you got weed, crystal meth, a pipe. Are you supposed to have any of that? All right, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You're going to get a ticket for the uh, marijuana, sir, for your part in it. Why are we sitting on that scale? Scale? The scale? The marijuana scale, the scale that's got pieces of marijuana on it. So you had weed in your pocket, and the scale was under you because... Waste stuff on. Okay. You were weighing the marijuana so you could sell it? No. Oh. Make sure I have yeah. what Make I sure have. when you when you put it in the pipe it weighed the exact amount so you don't get too high? No, not in the pipe. Oh, okay. Well what? You when didn't want to overload it. your cigarette? When I buy it. Oh, when you buy it. You have to weigh it, make sure you're not getting cheated. Right. Of course. Why would you want to sell dope in front of these kids? Look at these kids over here Why just having a dope. You weren't? No. I didn't have no dope, wasn't selling no dope. All I had was that little bit of weed I had in my pocket. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, what's with the speed? Don't ask me. I... And the meth pipe? It ain't mine. It's not yours? It ain't mine. So. How long do you have left on your parole? Another uh, 16 months. So you're probably going to do 16 months, huh? What do you think? At least a year, nothing huh? I, nothing I can do about it. At least a bullet. Getting me with stuff that I didn't have. What's that? I'm getting buzzed with stuff I didn't have. So. Is it your truck? Yeah. All right, buddy. Please stand up. Go see my partner over here. He's going to take you to the car. Can you transport him for me? Thanks. Andrew, I'm giving you a ticket, OK? This is a citation for the marijuana. Yes, sir. OK. Today's your lucky day. But you see all these kids? You hear them back here playing? Yes, sir. Don't come to Rialto and do that, OK? The next time you come into my city and I catch you doing your little partying over here, hanging out with your buddies and smoking speed in front of these kids and stuff like that, that'll be the last time I tell you. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, get out of here.